China ended the year with a bang when, on December 26, 2024, the People's Liberation Army Air Force unveiled not one, but two next-generation stealth fighters. First, a tailless stealth jet from Chengdu roared into the sky. Then, mere hours later, another from Shenyang followed, its sleek, radar-defying frame cutting through the air. Just days later, a blurry image surfaced, confirming what no one expected from the latter model. Swiveling wingtips, a radical control system never before seen on an operational fighter, solving the instability of a tailless flight. This new model, since christened J-50, isn't just a reveal, but a clear challenge. While the United States keeps its next-generation air dominance program hidden, China is now showing the world exactly how far it has come and how far it's willing to go to win the arms race. They're not dummies. In September 2022, during the Aerospace and Cyber Conference held by the Air and Space Forces Association, General Mark D. Kelly, commander of the United States Air Combat Command, delivered a keynote address. During his speech, titled The Air Force Fighter Enterprise, he highlighted concerns about China's rapid progress in developing a sixth-generation fighter program. While the United States has the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, initiative, as expected, China is developing its own answer. According to Kelly, the communist nation isn't just catching up in air superiority, it's building something entirely new. Instead of producing just another stealth fighter, China is constructing an interconnected system of systems designed to dominate the battle space. Within this ecosystem, manned jets, autonomous drones, advanced sensor networks, and next-generation weapons would all operate together as a seamless force multiplier, ready to attack anything and anyone that dares to encounter it. Kelly saw the future unfolding quickly. Though America planned to field NGAD by 2030, China wasn't waiting. Nonetheless, for years, American officials consistently downplayed China's newer aircraft, including the J-20, its first stealth fighter, which General Kenneth Wilsbach, commander of Pacific Air Forces, stated outright was, quote, not anything to lose a lot of sleep over. But Kelly wasn't convinced, as he believed that China had larger ambitions. Regarding the successor to the J-20, which is most likely already in the works, he warned, quote, they are not dummies. They know what they're doing. To finish his speech, he added something even more critical, quote, we need to get there before they do. It won't end well if we don't. Sure enough, behind closed doors, at the highly secretive Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, engineers had been working around the clock on something vastly different. Since 2018, intelligence reports have suggested a radical departure from traditional fighter designs. Then, in late 2024, China stunned the world. Surprise Jets The Chinese military has a long-held habit. Major military advancements are rarely revealed at random. Instead, they are usually unveiled around December 26th, Mao Zedong's birthday. For China, this is a statement and a deliberate show of power, signaling that the former leader's vision of self-reliance and military strength is alive, well, and most importantly, accelerating. One of the last big reveals came in 2011, when the world got its first glimpse of the famous J-20 stealth fighter. Fast forward to today, and there are now hundreds of J-20s in frontline service. But the J-20 was just the beginning. On December 26, 2024, China did it again. And this time, it wasn't just one new fighter. It was two advanced, tailless stealth fighters, both flying, both real. The first model lifted off from Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's headquarters in the Sichuan province, China. This sleek new fighter, already drawing comparisons to the US NGAD, was an angular design, advanced airframe, and rumored next-gen avionics, suggesting a focus on deep penetration strike missions and electronic warfare. But the real surprise came only hours later, when, departing from Shenyang Aircraft Corporation in the Liaoning province, another jet, smaller, sharper, and unlike anything China had ever built before, also flew out into the world. The second model, tentatively named Shenyang JXD, or J-50 by international analysts, is a tailless, next-generation fighter designed for extreme stealth and electronic warfare. For its debut, the model wasn't flying solo, as a Shenyang J-16 strike fighter shattered it as a chase plane, all but confirming its status as an active test platform. Swiveling wingtips. 
Unlike conventional fighter jets, the new model features a tailless, cranked arrow wing configuration, eliminating vertical stabilizers in favor of a sleeker, more stealth-friendly shape, while the aircraft's sharp, lambda-shaped wings likely improve aerodynamics while reducing radar signature. Unlike some experimental aircraft with unconventional gear layouts, the J-50 appears to use a standard tricycle landing gear, suggesting it was built with practical deployment in mind. The J-50 is powered by twin engines. Unlike the three-engine Chengdu J-36, the model released on the same December 2024 day. To maintain stealth, it uses streamlined air intakes that improve airflow while reducing radar signature. Its thrust vectoring nozzles, similar to those on the F-22 Raptor, enhance maneuverability, helping offset the lack of a traditional tail. Some believe its medium size suggests it could be carrier-capable, but there's no solid evidence of this yet. But the biggest revelation came in January 2025, when a new image confirmed a breakthrough design feature, swiveling wingtips. In the photo, first shared on Chinese social media, the outer sections of the wings appear to move independently. In traditionally designed aircraft, the empennage, or tail section, provides pitch, nose-up, and nose-down control. The J-50's swiveling wingtips substitute those control surfaces by changing their angle to aid flight stability and maneuvering. Positioned at the outermost edges of the wings, these moving surfaces allow precise control, making up for what the aircraft lacks in traditional aerodynamic stability. However, this unique design comes with a major trade-off. Moving surfaces can reflect radar signals, which might make the J-50 easier to detect than a fully fixed-wing aircraft. In order to reduce this risk, China may limit wingtip movement during normal flight, only activating them for sharp maneuvers. Despite this big reveal, there are still many unknowns. No clear cockpit has been spotted, fueling speculation about whether the J-50 is manned, unmanned, or optionally crewed. More images will likely emerge, offering a better idea of its capabilities. What's next? In response to the double whammy unveiling from the Chinese, according to a released press inquiry, quote, the Air Force has been closely monitoring China's ongoing military modernization efforts. This development is consistent with our understanding of China's strategic objectives and long-term force planning. While the Pentagon's latest thorough report on China's military advancements, released in late 2024, does not specifically mention any sixth-generation fighter programs, it does confirm that the Chinese Air Force is working on new medium- and long-range stealth bombers designed for both regional and global operations. This report also suggests that China is expected to improve its jet engine production capabilities in the coming years. According to analyst Efren Garcia, China is making rapid strides in the matter, integrating cutting-edge capabilities like artificial intelligence, hypersonic speeds, advanced sensors, and drone swarming technologies. As stated on Garcia's social media, quote, if realized, it could pose a significant challenge to U.S. air superiority and tilt the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. More than anything, China's tailless stealth fighter with swiveling wingtips is proof that China's technological momentum is accelerating at a never-before-seen rate. Where the U.S. Air Force remains secretive, the PLAAF has put its progress on full display. What happens next will depend on how well these demonstrators perform under real-world conditions and how much China is willing to invest to bring one or both into full operational service. Now, according to the analyst, quote, for the United States, Maintaining technological superiority is not just a matter of prestige, but a strategic imperative. The U.S. must accelerate its own sixth-gen fighter programs to ensure dominance in future conflicts. This requires robust funding, streamlined acquisition processes, and fostering innovation within the defense industry.